as rough sleeping rises nationally, the exact scale of the crisis remains hard to capture. The official data shows that in England, rough sleeping has risen for six years in a row. The latest figures estimated that 4,134 people bedded down outside in 2016, up 16% on the previous year. Though London remains the centre of rough sleeping, accounting for 23% of the national total, and in Westminster, with 260 rough sleepers, the highest number of cases, the rate is increasing much faster outside the capital, in places such as Brighton, Manchester, and Birmingham. Each winter across the country, councils send teams of volunteers to conduct nighttime counts of all the rough sleepers in the borough to assess how acute the problem is. Recent counts in the homelessness hotspots of Cambridge and Hackney, East London, reveal how the problem is evolving. This is their bedroom you are entering. Be respectful of that, warned the organiser of the Cambridge count, before teams set out to count rough sleepers in the historic centre in the early hours of a Friday. For bedroom, read shop doorway, church graveyard, or multi-storey car park anywhere in the cold night air where a street sleeper might hope to find a yard or two of dry shelter and, if they are lucky, a degree of privacy. At 3 a.m., as the last of the evening's city centre revellers are going home, the teams set out. This is the time when rough sleepers consider it safe enough and sufficiently quiet to bed down. Dotted along a line of shops on a main shopping street were several people in brightly coloured sleeping bags in doorways, surrounded by the paraphernalia of street life, plastic bags stuffed with belongings cardboard under sheets to insulate them from the cold, the odd half-empty wine bottle. Rough sleeping is growing in Cambridge. After five years when the official total fluctuated between 9 and 20, last year the city counted a record 40 rough sleepers. There are strict definitions of what constitutes a rough sleeper for the purposes of the count. People must be sleeping, about to bed down or bedded down on the street in doorways, parks, tents, bus shelters, cars, barns, sheds and other places not designed for habitation. Homeless people who are resident in hostels or shelters on the night in question are not counted. The count is not a precise science, bad weather can depress the figures, counters can miss rough sleepers if they are well hidden, regular sleepers may by chance spend the night elsewhere. Good housing support services, too, can have a positive effect in reducing the numbers. But local professionals are clear, the trend, in Cambridge as in England as a whole, is upward. We have seen a gradual increase in rough sleepers in Cambridge over the last three to four years, most notably in the last two years, said Vicky Knighton, team leader of the Cambridge Street and Mental Health Outreach Team. As the main city within a large rural area, and one with good homelessness provision such as hostels, Cambridge has always acted as a magnet for rough sleepers. Relationship breakdown and substance abuse remain important triggers of homelessness.